Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is the first episode in the brand new season, season two here of the Crypto Millionaire Journey here, folks. Very exciting times. Crypto here is in quarter four. And if you've been in the space long enough, history says, you know, normally this is where we go boom, boom. This is where some uh, pretty bullish runs happen and uh, profits can be made. I mean, profits are being made daily, I would say, just depending on your your outlook of crypto and how deep you are in the space. Uh, me, pretty deep. Seems like I'm getting uh, more and more into the space, finding different ways, finding different blockchains, just uh, trying to find all the different platforms, different ways, just to, you know, have that constant fluctuation of some type of income coming in. Uh, and then obviously being able to enjoy some of these different experiences on these different platforms. But today, like I said, this is a Brand new season, got some things in place, but for today's topic, today what I'm probably most excited for these next, I would say, a couple of months uh, as I'm doing these different, um, you know, different investing ways, trying these different new platforms that I'm not maybe accustomed to, you know, some of the stuff. Might be a little new, but as far as the topic goes for today, it's all about Solana's ecosystem here, folks. Um, it's funny because I had, you know, kind of got exposed to it somewhat early, but didn't do, I don't think, enough research. Didn't I don't think I did enough homework. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because there's some platforms, some projects that I've added to my watch list as far as, you know, if trying to figure out, you know, some different ways to uh, participate on this blockchain. Because, you know, as you guys know, most cases, if you want to do anything on these, you know, platforms, normally the governor's token, you know, that's normally going to be needed. So you can figure out a way of how to, one, Earn the governor's token without necessary, maybe not having to always, you know, trade. Uh, you know, you can stake it, provide liquidity. Obviously, everything you do in the space, or I would say not everything, but most of everything that you do in the space, you know, it's at your own risk. Um, but, you know, that would be like number one. And then number two is finding different platforms within that blockchain that are built on top of the blockchain where you can, you know, maybe... It be a game or a platform where you can, you know, stake. Where the case it be is trying to find a platform where you can, you know, yield some type of return, right? And so that's, you know, it's two things, right? Because all this can go back into being able to obviously build your portfolio of that particular governor's token because normally, you know, that's the token that you can pretty much have a good clue of. I have at least, you know, X, Y, Z of this amount of coin uh, in the way, you know, it fluctuates in the market. You know, you can get some you know, good returns off that. Right. Because there's always so many different ways to multiply and boost uh, your returns, your income, basically kind of anything. Right. And then also, too, is, you know, finding also these projects, but find them early. Find them early at a very cheap price to the point where you can throw in a, you know, I would say a nice slap full of capital into that particular project. It goes boom, boom, goes to the moon, where it could be. Now you're chilling. You ain't, you ain't got anything to really worry about, right? So I would say, you know, these are some of the things, at least personally for me, I try to keep in mind as I'm doing my research, homework on all these different projects, because there's so many here, folks, and there's going to be so many more to come, but there's some where, you know, might not obviously make it in the long run, and there's some that, you know, 
we're going to be talking about five, 10 years from now. But all that be May, let's talk about, I guess, some of just the different projects that I would say I would have a good chunk of my, I would say, what, focus, some energy towards right now. Um, one would be the Radium platform. Uh, that's a particular platform where you can swap, trade, participate in farm, stake. Uh, this is all done on the Solana blockchain. Obviously, if you guys have not participated on the Solana blockchain quite yet, don't have a Solana wallet, got to get one of those. But transaction fees on this bad boy, really, really, really low. And then, of course, everything is pretty fast, I got to say. I know some people, you know, try to dub it the Ethereum killer, but, you know, I feel like every blockchain has its purpose and it just kind of depends on, you know, what you're looking for, too. So uh, that, there's a lot of different variables, I think, that goes into that. But what it can be is the good thing is everything, like I said, fees wise on Solana's blockchain, very cheap here, folks, like. It's ridiculous to the point where it's like, you know, if you do want to, if you do want to, um, what's it called? Like harvest on certain farms every day without having to worry about, you know, oh, how, many, how much am I going to pay in fees? I would say, you know, Solana is something that you might want to check out. And then also too, uh, Radium has their own token as well. Um, price is down a little bit. Um, but like I said, this is one of those projects that is built on Solana's blockchain. Um, Serum's another one. Uh, I haven't had too much, uh, I would say, I don't think I had enough time really dedicated to kind of really take a look into that platform. But I, knew the, I do know for a fact that there are some um, benefits, especially being a, a Serum holder. That's another thing too. Uh, that's kind of nice about participate in some of these different um, governance tokens is or just being like just a token holder you know just in general is there's, al there's always some nice benefits man where they said you know be you collecting trading fees getting more tokens um being shared with the pool of tokens that comes back to you i mean you know whatever it is it normally it's pretty incentivizing um so you also got mango markets that's another one um, that I'm keeping my eye out on and trying to, you know, rack up, I would say, uh, a lot of their coin at this cheap price. Obviously, you guys know about Star Atlas and who the excitement about Star Atlas came in. Don't even really know where to start with that one. Um, just for the fact that, man, uh, so many different ways uh, you can really make some money in that game. I was reading some articles about how you're going to be able to play because you know you're have the uh you have the ability now to choose your faction which is pretty dope um which is basically going to pretty much tell you where you're going to go and how you're going to participate in the game and what you'll be doing um and then you also got solonium uh and this other one called samuel coin i think i'm pronouncing that correctly but abbreviation is samo that's a, another coin that's very interesting. That's actually probably going to be my first real, I guess, a meme dog uh, investment. But that particular coin has some interesting utility. So, and of course, you know, it's built on Solana. So that's, it's a little different, a little different. Uh, Orca is another one, Sunny Aggregator, and then the Grape Network as well. So these are all some different projects that I'm just like, hmm. It's uh, it's uh, that 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 uh, it's that time to let's see if I can capitalize, multiply, boost, uh, all types. Oh, and also too. Oh, another one I forgot. Uh, Solend, Solend, and then there's another one as well. I think I might have forgot. Solaris Finance. I mean, again, folks. I would say it's about a legit, probably what give or take about seven to ten different probably projects within that ecosystem that I'm trying to uh, figure out the best way where you know how can I earn some more tokens 
and earn tokens right now at these current prices, right? Because you just never know. And we come six months, seven, eight months down the road, you know, a particular investment that we made here today or uh could be you know worth a nice little chunk of chains and i've seen it happen um i do know my time during the whole ico craze you know there was times you know i didn't really have a lot of capital to invest but i would invest you know just a nice little sum sum you know we come back after everything's been released been on the market for about you know good time anywhere from like maybe what maybe four to six months and even those returns are pretty, pretty nice. But some of these uh, projects, looking at their roadmaps, seeing what's to come, you know, some of this stuff is pretty exciting. And once it actually lands and, you know, users, consumers, or the case of me, can actually get their hands on it, that changes the game as well. But also, too, is to keep this in mind is, you know, all these different projects that were maybe earning her uh, harvest uh harvesting those particular tokens at any given moment any given second any given time if you choose so you can always just put all those you know profits or investments back into solana uh i mean obviously right now solana is you know obviously pretty high about what last time i checked current price was like about 159 160 if i'm not mistaken uh, which obviously probably would have bought more of that when, whew, when it was cheap, cheap. Uh, I'm talking about like, sheesh, probably like ten dollars and under. Um, before it, you know, obviously skyrocketed. Um, yeah. So these are all just different projects that I'm like, all right, let's see if we can create a little ecosystem of our own that has the money and some type of circulation constantly being made. Um, and so far I'm participating right now pretty heavily uh, when it comes to Radium um, and then also the Orca platform as well. Orca is pretty similar to that of Radium in the sense of the fact that, you know, you can provide liquidity, you can exchange, uh, you can stake, You'll be earning their governance token. Um, so it's pretty similar, but there are some differences between the, the two platforms. Um, obviously, they're going to have their own variety of pools that they share uh, as far as like, you know, liquidity pools and stuff like that. Um, and then also, too, if I'm not mistaken, there might be some differences as uh when it comes to the availability of different coins um, as well. But, you know, I'm kind of playing with both of them. Um, I would say one difference right now that pretty much stands out to me uh, is the fluctuating APR. I, I think it fluctuates a little bit more on Orca compared to um, Radium. Um, I noticed... My time so far on Radium uh, has been pretty much steady. I don't think I've really seen too much movement in the APR uh, because that's something that's really uh, something I'm trying to really take advantage is when you see, anytime you see triple digit APR, especially right now, early stages here we're referring to, um, that's something that, I mean, come on now, like, we're talking 100% or just anything like above, anything 60 to 70 like and above, I feel like is just a good place to, you know, put some money in there, test it out, get that money back and then, you know, go from there. Because that's what's kind of nice is, you know, using all these different platforms to kind of, you know, in unison where one you can go from one to the other. And obviously, you know, when you're moving money, especially in the blockchain, it's super quick. So it's like all these proceeds, profits or whatever that you're creating over here at any given time. OK, yes, we know we can go into Solana. And then from there, if you want, you can go go buy Bitcoin or go buy whatever coin that you want to um, 
stack up on right now. When, like I said, this is could be all just used as leverage, which is something I'm kind of doing right now, especially uh, using this whole this whole borrow and uh, lending protocol on Solana's call to get Soul Soul Lend. Um, that's another project that I'm playing with. Uh, as far as you know, that's crazy. Like the concept of you know supplying you know obviously liquidity to this pool. And you know, I'm you know, I'm supplying I'm gonna give me a little some sum on the back, you know. Uh APY on that for USDC coin is I think currently at like eight percent obviously fluctuates over there as well. It was as high as like eleven percent, but the fact that, you know, I've seen other people uh use the whole lending thing to an advantage. Uh, to be able to you know make some serious cash flow, uh, the fact that you're pretty much you know using a loan against yourself, uh, which is always a crazy concept, but it's pretty, I would say, pretty normal in the crypto space. The fact that you know I can supply however much. I mean, obviously there are some limits on that particular platform, but you supply this, you'll get this for just supplying. So even if I didn't borrow for myself, I would just still be able to get that interest, do whatever with that. But the fact that, you know, I can supply a stable coin where I don't got to worry about getting really, you don't have to worry about liquidation. Um, so that's something that's kind of nice. Normally, you know, when it comes to uh, the whole borrowing and uh, lending different protocols that you might participate on, you know, or just using different coins, especially like a, you know, like a Bitcoin, for example, you got to worry about, you know, if you are supplying that, you got to kind of keep track of, you know, the Bitcoin price and make sure you don't obviously go over your limit. Um so that's something that now that, you know, using kind of this experience and the experience I'm going to get from that, playing on this protocol, being able to go into some other protocols and then really um, try to figure out concept over there. Because there's, I mean, there's plenty of different protocols that do and offer, you know, these services. But for me, I think at first... I think there's a little intimidation factor. Um, and then, because, you know, also, too, like I said before here, folks, all this stuff is risky. I mean, you can lose your money, especially when you're providing liquidity. Um, you know, staking, yeah, you could lose it. The platform goes down. There's some other ways you might be able to lose it. But, you know, anytime you're providing that liquidity, especially using your old funds, that's where, you know, things can happen if you don't pay attention and if you're not monitoring. But, this is all just, you know, experimental stuff that is good to obviously obtain, especially because there's some other coins on Radium, or not Radium, Solon, I should say, where, you know, APRs are pretty high if you're supplying um, certain cryptocurrencies. So, you know, being able to try to tap in, take advantage of APR, and then, you know, leaving that one, and then basically kind of, swinging over here to, uh, to keep you know playing back and forth just to increase profits uh so that's what i'm kind of hoping that comes from you know using that particular platform but overall just being able to play in the whole salon ecosystem and being able to you know create some type of uh passive income for solana because you know solana is at least for me personally, um, I'm actually able to use Solana for pretty much anything. Why? Yeah, you betcha. You guessed it. Crypto debit card. So that's another thing that's kind of nice about Solana right now that I have discovered. Uh, what in the last what about what day or so? Because I had initially forgot that Crypto.com started, uh, or I should say not started, but they added. Solana as one of the coins that you're able to obviously transact with within the app. So obviously you'll be able to send Solana to the wallet. Then from there you can obviously sell for USDC, whatever, top it up to your card, use it that way. Um, 
because they don't have a type of feature yet for Solana. Not for sure if that's going to even come, but you know, just saying. And then my other card, which um, I don't even think, if I'm not mistaken, you don't even have to sell. Uh, you'll be able to, I believe, directly just have it. I think you'll be just directly have it on your card, and that's the uphold card. So I have two cards where you know, if I am making some decent passive income within the Solana ecosystem, hey, I'll be able to spend it right then and there with either my Visa card or with my MasterCard. So um, that's also kind of another, I think, drive for me that wants to kind of figure out a way to really get some flow of money from the Solana ecosystem coming in because, shoot, if I'm able to Go ahead, you know, make what I guess it be is for Solana that day. Transfer that on over to the to the uh to the card and then boom. I'm good to go. And the reason why I say that is cause well one, crypto.com card, I'm getting three percent cash back on every purchase, so that's nice. And then also too I think this for me gives me a real uh, good, I would say utilities is to really start to try to incorporate using my uphold debit card as well. Um, especially with the fact that I'll be able to just pretty much throw Solana on there, boom, slide it on and we're good to go. And I'm earning cash back on that card as well. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's either two or 3% and that's cash back in Bitcoin folks. Yes, cash back in Bitcoin. So. If you don't have an uphold card yet, you need to get one. Just like, please do yourself a favor. So, same thing goes for the crypto.com card because I'm telling you that cash back is it's nice. Um, but yeah, and this is, I think, just overall, Solana ecosystem. I haven't really had any problems uh, so far. Like I said, the fact that fees are really cheap, really low is a great, great thing. Um, because, you know, for me, I want to, for the most part, spend most of my time on those particular blockchains where, you know, if I want to do something, it's not going to cost me an arm and a leg just to, you know, send it because of gas fees. Obviously, you know, some people feel that, you know, Ethereum's gas fees are needed or they could be. I mean, like I said, it's teach its own. Um, but like I said, I know people dubbed Solana as one of those chains that was supposed to be like an Ethereum killer. I look at it as if this is going to make me money, I don't really, hey, I'm here to get the bread. And then obviously, at any given second, like I was saying earlier, you can always transfer the bread over and over to bitcoin i mean everything in crypto it's pretty much uh interchangeable um and if i'm not mistaken i think they have a uh, i think they have wrap bitcoin on solana blockchain so it's like i can just keep it over there because you know it's right it's tied it's tied to bitcoin Except it's just on Solana's blockchain. So, like I said, just the the variety of ways to uh, pretty much just make money, folks, in the crypto space. It is there. It is there. But I think that's going to put a stamp on Season 2, Episode 1 here in the Solana ecosystem. I uh, hope, you, hope you guys... Uh, enjoyed it appreciate y'all you know tuning in listening to the podcast like i said season two will be stacked with some stuff definitely gonna see some different views different a lot different projects like i said i've been who been uh pretty deep like i said into the space especially as, as of late um and just being able to, you know, 
when you learn kind of a new craft uh, in, in the space, you kind of want to try your best to exploit it and try to, you know, obviously magnify it because uh, this whole, for me, you know, like I said, I watch other people, especially on YouTube, talk about how, you know, they're providing this amount of capital and then they're making this. And it's like, for me, it's like, well, how are you doing it? Because for the most part, I would say I'm more of a hands-on type person. So even watching, I was like, all right, it makes sense, but I got to I gotta see it. I got to almost, in a sense, touch it uh, to really be like, all right, now it really makes sense. But now I'm able to do it on one blockchain. You can go ahead and replicate it on another blockchain because it's pretty much the same concept, just might look a little bit different but that is it y'all i'm your host the wolf of crypto y'all have been listening to the crypto millionaire journey and until the next time y'all take it easy